A couple of weeks ago, I made a very sarcastic post about if you're tired of taking really good looking pictures, you should check out the brand new Holga digital Kickstarter page. And like any good PR person who realizes that any press is good press, they reached out to us and said, we want to send you guys the brand new Holga digital camera. But that's not the end of the story because we also have this Polaroid camera by The Impossible Project. And what these guys are doing is they are bringing Polaroid film back. What I'm going to do is figure out which one of these is the trendiest camera you could possibly use today. Let's put them to the test. Let's first read the directions. Vintage, retro, old school, the 80s, the 90s, classy, lovely back then. It is like how some young people love listening to turntable. They will buy one if they can neglect all the technical complication. Who wrote this? <laughs> Please let Lee know that once he slides in an SD card, he will need to hold the shutter down for at least 10 seconds or at least until the flash goes off once so that the memory card is formatted properly. <clears throat> all right, so we just went and, and double checked and apparently you can get a flash with this and you have to have the flash with it to determine if it's formatted or not. They didn't send us one of those. Luckily, I have the $500 SB910 here. <laughs> it, it weighs 20 times more than the Holga cameras. How do you know if the camera's on or off? Oh, there's a light on it, on the top. Okay, I'm gonna hold it down. Oh, so it just flashed. So does that mean that we're taking pictures now? So here's, here's the interesting thing about the Holga is without the flash on there, you, you honestly cannot tell when it's taking a picture. It's totally silent. I have no idea if it's taking pictures. Like it may not have a memory card in there. It may be out of storage. Next up, we have the uh, Polaroid impossible camera. And it's interesting because I've certainly used a Polaroid camera before, but I have never actually loaded the film into one of these before. I think I'm doing this. Oh shit, open here. I think I'm about to destroy this. <laughs> I have no idea how to do this. I don't think I'm gonna be able to figure this out. Uh, there's no directions still. Oh, you can take it out of the aluminum foil. It just looks like you're not supposed to rip that. Peel it. I know how to do this. This is easy. What side is down that way? I'm cheating right now. I'm being coached. You just pull it. Press the button halfway to charge the flash. Press all the way to take the picture. What am I doing wrong? Am I supposed to, am I supposed to pull this, this out? This, what is this? It's not working. <laughs> what is going on? Chelsea, come fix this. Well, so far, the Holga is the best terrible camera I've ever used. All right, S say cheese, you guys. Cheese. Three, two, one. You gotta be kidding me, what? what? <laughs> Come on. All right, I'm pressing it down halfway to charge it. The red light's on, go. Yes! All right, apparently everything that we've been taking on this is just black. Uh, I don't know how we messed that up, but uh, we're gonna try a whole different cartridge. So just stick it in like this. Yeah. Let's see how this Polaroid looks. It's totally black. How could all of the Polaroid film be bad? All right, we're going black and white now. Hold on, did I open the right side? No, open here. The best shot ever. Three, two, one. Go, 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 why isn't it taking? There we go. 
Hey, this one, it looks so bad, but it's definitely better than the other ones, that's for sure. Okay, so what we're gonna do now that we've got the film kind of working in black and white, we're gonna go around the office, I'm gonna take some pictures, and we're gonna compare the final output of each of these cameras to figure out which of the horrible cameras is the best or the worst, doesn't matter, let's go. I have here a vegan pizza, come take a look. I'm gonna first use my black and white uh, Polaroid. I'm going to take a shot, I think. There we go. I'll turn it over. And just in case, I've been having a little trouble with it overexposing, just in case it is going to overexpose, I'm gonna back up so the flash power is less. Then we're gonna go again. The top on this Holga, which changes the aspect ratio, it's just broken, it just spins forever. So, I don't know that I can actually change anything. I'm gonna point this in the general direction. And I'm holding down the shutter button, but again, nothing happens. No click sound, no shutter. You, you, I have no idea if this is taking pictures right now. Where's the flash? Just in case it's underexposed, let's put the SB910 on here. The whole reason that we have these cameras is because Chelsea over here was the one that got them. So I'm gonna take a portrait of Chelsea in her natural habitat by the trash can. <laughs> it's good. Come on, give me some eye contact. I'm gonna get uncomfortably <laughs> close. Three, two, one. Give it time to charge. Go, 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 go. Yes. The Polaroids have had a chance to process and we're gonna compare the quality from the Holga versus the black and white shots that we just got out of the Polaroid. This is my vegan pizza here. Um, it looks like a crime scene. It doesn't... <laughs> well, hold on, here's the best part. So that's what it looks like out of the Holga, but here's what the pizza looks like out of the... Hold on, hold on, there's more. We're not done yet. Here's the next pizza shot. That's all the pizza shots we have. That's all the pizza shots. So I don't know if you can tell which one's better, but um, okay. So now we're gonna go over the Chelsea portraits, okay? Oh joy. So here's Chelsea next to the trash. So we seem to have lost a little detail in her face with this shot. Here's the, here's the next shot of Chelsea that we took with the Holga, and obviously this is closer. Um, it's not quite as sharp. And then here's the one that we got with the Polaroid. To be fair to the Polaroid, we did, um, we probably got too close. It has recommended distances and we probably went beyond that. So let's try one more time to take a picture of Chelsea because <laughs> Because I feel like... All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a professional studio shot. We have Chelsea on our psych wall here. And I think I was a little close. Obviously the flash was a little harsh. So I'm gonna back up a little bit and we're gonna take just like this hipster, sad emo chick portrait right now. Three, two, one, more misery. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the lowest power setting, I'm gonna direct flasher. We haven't done this yet. So it's gonna look similar to the Polaroid. Why isn't it working? The flash is on. Yeah. Yeah. It appears that the Holga has already broken, so we can't finish this test. But I think we've come to a few conclusions here. Oh, look at this. I thought for sure the Polaroid was going to destroy the Holga, but in reality, they're both horrible, horrible cameras. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Okay, so we just finished filming and we, <laughs> Chelsea ran into my office and was like, oh my gosh, look, all the color shots. I don't know if you guys can see this. They have finally become 
processed. This is so crazy. It, it took like over an hour for these to show up. And I, I'm, I'm definitely no Polaroid expert, but I have used them before. And color Polaroids usually take, I don't know, two, three minutes, maybe five, 10 minutes at most. These were black for like 30 minutes. Like you could see no detail for 30 minutes. And now they actually look pretty good. And we also learned a few other things about the Polaroid that I didn't know before. First of all, uh, this button here with the red adds flash to your picture. If you press this button in the back, it doesn't flash. So obviously that would have saved us from overexposing the shots of Chelsea. And then this is actually exposure compensation. Um, so, you know, if you're closer to your subject and you do want to flash whatever, you actually can change this. All of these things, I didn't know when I was using it, so it's totally my fault. This camera is much better. The Holga is quite possibly worse than I ever imagined. It's already broken. It came broken in the box. This thing just spins forever, but now it won't even take pictures anymore. So at least we were able to get like seven shots out of it. That's the review, guys. Thank you. To see more videos just like this, visit fstoppers.com.